Welcome back guys. Let's see what we got going this weekend on the Humvee. So I was able to find a 45 degree 6AN fitting from a local kind of race shop here. This will go on our turbo oil feed line. Uh, that's right now is just a straight in. We're having issues with that line hitting the frame a little bit. Should be quick and easy. So let's get it installed. So first thing was quick and easy, but the second thing we have going here, not so much. So we have it kind of scuffed up a little bit. Uh, this was mainly just to try to get some of this uh, black paint off here that they had oversprayed on the underside. I'll probably go ahead and hit it with a little bit finer of a sandpaper to get out a little bit of these scratches so it don't show in the paint. So let me get to this and then we'll get to our next steps. So while that's drying up, this is the radiator I got for this. This is a new radiator from Champion Radiators. Uh, this is a Pro Series, all aluminum, welded up and everything. Fins seem to be good on it and everything. It looks like it's welded up pretty nice as well. A lot of the other radiators that I was finding on the internet that were performance kind of radiators for this just were way too high in price. This one was reasonably priced. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and get a new radiator for it. That way hopefully we just eliminate any issues with overheating or anything with this new engine. So this radiator mounts on the bottom here with the, just a nut and bolt at the front of the frame. And then towards the engine, there's actually a couple of bolt holes that go in there. And there's a couple of uh, bars that I've showed y'all that bolt to that and then bolt up on the frame. So these bars that are gonna hold the radiator basically bolt up to the frame there. So I'm going to get to mounting up this shroud onto the bottom of the radiator here. So it is getting a little bit late in the day now. I haven't been recording a whole lot, but I've been trying to figure out the orientation of how I wanna do the radiator, 
intercooler, the fuel cooler, the power steering cooler, and the AC condenser on top here. So I think I have a plan going now. So on the radiator, we have these kind of nut certs that are already on the radiator. A bolt will just screw right into those. So what I'm hoping to do is create a bracket that will just bolt into those mounting holes similar to this. So this is our intercooler setup and our fuel cooler and our power steering cooler is gonna be on that side. So I cut out these pieces of metal here. These are what I want to go ahead and run along that radiator and go ahead and drill the holes to mount up to that. I'll be welding a piece across each side of that and that way the intercooler will bolt to that. I'll have little tabs that come off of there as well that the, these coolers will bolt to and that'll allow us to just bolt these pieces down. So because the intercooler is a lot thicker than the fuel cooler and power steering cooler, it kind of creates a void. Now the way this is set up in the first place is kind of at an angle up front and uses actually two grills on the hood, one on the top of the hood and one on the very front. Now what I'm planning to do is actually mount the AC condenser just slightly at an angle on top of that and then the AC fans will go on top of that. The fuel cooler and power steering cooler will be underneath there, but they'll still be easy to get to, to be able to get the fittings connected to those. Now to do this, I have a piece that's gonna go across the bottom here, and I'll create little tabs that that AC condenser will slide into and bolt up to on these. And then what I will do, is from this cross piece down here, create a stand on each side that's gonna hold this up off of the intercooler a little bit. And I'll also be using some rubber or foam isolator strips just to go between these so nothing will actually rub together. But that's the plan. It's gonna require me to fab up some parts here. Uh, I kind of showed you what I was gonna do with them. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and spend some time fabbing that up and I'll just get back with y'all whenever that's done. And one thing I'll say as well, whenever working with these types of coolers, the fins and everything, you wanna be careful uh, when moving them around a whole lot. You don't wanna damage the fins. If you damage the fins too bad, it could disrupt the flow of air through there or it could actually leak on you if it uh, damaged the actual tubes that go through there. Also on the AC condenser, the fittings on the side, there's actually a smaller fitting and a larger fitting. If you are putting in an AC condenser on your vehicle, you're gonna want the big fitting on top of the small fitting because you have gas coming into the system that's being cooled down back into a liquid that's going out at the bottom. You just don't want to try to force that liquid up and out the top. You want it to flow down and out. I think we have it done now. So let me show you what we ended up doing and what the mount looks like. So also what I'm going to mention here is important as well. I tried to use some metal that I had laying around. Now, a lot of it I knew where it came from was fresh metal, but the two side pieces that mount up to the radiator actually was a scrap piece of metal I had laying around. I didn't know what type of metal it was. I knew it was a type of steel, it was magnetic, but I ended up having such a difficult time trying to TIG weld this. I don't know if there was impurities in the metal or if it was some type of alloy style metal that just didn't agree with my other types of metal, I'm not really sure, but after messing around with it for a while, I was able to actually get it to weld up. So what we have is the two strips that mount up to the radiator, and that's our boundary. I end up creating this bottom piece as well here, and that's welded in. This directs the airflow straight through the stack on the bottom portion. I went ahead and welded in tabs. These are for the fluid cooler and then tabs up here as well. Now up at the top, I went ahead and made the top tabs larger. And these are actually the angled pieces I created to help direct that flow on the side. So these will actually go on the outside and bolt up like so. The fluid cooler is right underneath there where that gap is, so there actually isn't a gap there at all. So the airflow should go straight through that AC condenser along here, straight through those fluid coolers and straight into the radiator without an issue. Now I went ahead and notched out these locations along here. That is a bolt location along the mounting tab. Uh, these two notches here for the fittings for the oil coolers themselves. Now this is what actually bolts to the bottom of the AC condenser and bolts into the back of this mount back here. And that holds the AC condenser just off of this frame just a little bit so that things aren't rubbing. We went ahead and drilled our holes for the intercooler to bolt up to there. 
and then mounted again welded in some tabs for the top part of the oil coolers so that was kind of my thought process through building this mount system here now the majority of my time that i was spending working on this was not trying to design it i had a design in my head that i just need to make so a lot of it actually came with making the pieces that i needed for it making the metal to where it bent right, uh, drilling the holes in the right locations, notching things so they fit right and nothing gets in the way. Also, you have to think about the thought process of mounting this up as well, because you need to mount this to the radiator and then go ahead and mount up your coolers and mount up your inner cooler and everything. And last thing you're gonna need to do is mount up that AC condenser on top of all this. Well, when you do that, you're not going to be able to access the inside of this box that you're creating. So I also needed to put some rib nuts in here so that I don't have to access the backside and try to get two nuts to mount that up as well. That's just one thing I've noticed that some people might not think about until they've actually already created the piece is how it's gonna go together once you start mounting things up. So that was kind of my thought process on it and this is how everything mounts up. We have mounted it up and everything fits up just right. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and prep all these pieces and paint them. Believe me, I do like the raw metal look, but I actually do need to get paint on these so that they don't corrode and rust away. Well guys, I know this episode had a lot more talking and then actually showing building that mount system, but it did take me a few days to build and I would rather this be informative for y'all instead of just trying to fill time up. But I hope y'all still like this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more episodes as they come out, share it with somebody that might like this as well. And as always, I'll see y'all next time.